Do you have strict data privacy requirements within your organization, especially when using software as a service? Then keep watching and learn about the benefits of the InterSight EMEA region. So Cisco InterSight is a revolutionary platform to manage your data center infrastructure as a service. It's hosted in North America and based on popular requests, we now made it available in Frankfurt, Germany. So what does that mean exactly in terms of data privacy? In order to understand the differences around data privacy, we often talk about three different levels. Level one means storing your data in compliance with law, including GDPR. Level two means data residency, and that ensures that your data lives in the EU, but it's not completely restricted to leave the country. Now, level three means restricting your data from leaving the country and providing full immunity to access from non-European countries. The InterSight EMEA region provides data residency, so level two, and this can help you comply with German law. This means that if the US government, for whatever reason, would like to access your data, they will have to request the German government to provide them access. On the other hand, data residency still provides flexibility to export your tech support bundles to the global Cisco tech servers when you need it. Now make sure you watch the video till the end, where I will give some important tips around setting up your EMEA account and preventing tech from collecting tech support bundles without your approval. As you can understand, data residency is very important for your legal department and the EMEA region often means that you're now able to use InterSight as a service with all the benefits from it, which are, as a quick reminder, you don't have to run another piece of software just to manage your infrastructure. You don't need to lifecycle and secure that software and you will get much faster access to all the new features and security patches. Another benefit from the EMEA region is performance. As you might know, InterSight has the ability to do firmware upgrades and we host these firmware packages on our InterSight repository. Having this repository close by will improve your download speed significantly, especially if you're having bad connectivity towards the US. The best example is when you're deploying a connected virtual appliance. During the installation, the appliance will download a lot of software packages. And in my lab in Amsterdam, I can see a 41% improvement in the download speed. And my lab already has excellent connection to the US. I've heard from others that can see up to a 4x improvement with downloads from the European InterSight repository. So when we created the InterSight EMEA region, our main goal was to provide seamless experience for our customers. You shouldn't need to reconfigure your devices manually or notice any difference between the US and the EMEA region. Let's do a quick demo and show how easy it is to create an account in the EMEA region. When you go to intersight.com and you click on create account, now you need to log in, or if you're already authenticated like me, you can just pick the region you want and click next. You'll be presented with the end user license agreement for your region, and after you accept, you can provide the name for your account and create that account. From this moment on, everything is the same between the US and the EU region. I will start a trial and as you can see, I'm presented with exactly the same welcome page as the US region. When you look at the URL, you can see that I'm connected to the EU central instance of InterSight. And when you click on the user icon, you can see in which region your account was created. But wait, how about claiming targets? Do I need to manually reconfigure those? The answer is no. When claiming a new device in the EU region, we will automatically reconfigure the device to connect to the EU region. One important point to understand is that new devices will always connect to the US region by default. And only after claiming them in your EU account, they will be redirected to point towards the EU endpoints. So if you have a firewall or proxy that restricts the URLs which these devices can access, please make sure that you open the US endpoints as well and remove them after they've been claimed within your EU account. Another important setting is 
here to restrict TAG from collecting tech support bundles without your explicit approval. Because TAG is a global Cisco service, this would mean that your tech support bundle could end up on US servers. So to prevent this from happening, please go to Settings, Security and Privacy and disable Allow Tech Support Bundle Collection. This was a brief introduction into the benefits and usability of the Intersight EMEA region. Please consult the Intersight help pages for more details and submit your feedback using the feedback option in Intersight. Thank you.